It is important to remember your formula for density. Density equals mass over volume. Mass is always measured in grams, and volume is typically measured in milliliters or cubic centimeters. For this lab, you will use milliliters to measure your volume. In this lab, you're going to investigate the density of three different liquids and create a density column. Before you begin, you want to set up a chart to record, to record all of your data in. You want to have four columns going down and three rows going across. Your first column going down will be all your, your labels for mass, volume, and density, and going across your, should have your substances, oil, corn syrup, and water. Your chart should look something like this. The next thing that you want to do is find the density for each substance. We're going to start with oil. Now, remember, the formula for density is mass over volume. So you need to find the mass of the substance. We're going to use 10 milliliters of each liquid. So you could fill in 10 milliliters of each liquid into your chart. In order to find the mass, we need to find the weight of your graduated cylinder. The first thing you want to do is find the weight of the empty graduated cylinder. The weight of the empty graduated cylinder can be found by placing it on your triple beam balance and remember you want to be as close as possible and line them up. So my weight of my graduated cylinder is approximately 5.1 grams. I'm going to fill it to the 10 milliliter line with oil. And sometimes it does work better just to pour the oil into the graduated cylinder. Okay, that's pretty close. And if you do go over, you can use your pipette to remove the extra. Okay, now since we want the mass of just the oil, we need to weigh it again and subtract the final mass from your initial mass of your empty graduated cylinder. All right, the final mass of your graduated cylinder is about 14.4 grams. We want to let it stop to make sure that it's right. And we can even push it back a little bit. It's approximately 14.4 grams. Let's go back a little bit so we get the right one. So it's about 14.3 grams, and you want to record your mass. You want to subtract your 14.3 grams from your initial mass and then record it on the thing and you want to complete the same thing for the other one. So the mass of this empty graduated cylinder then, you want to reset it to zero. You want to find the mass of this empty one. I'm going to go a little bit more. So it'll be about 5.3 grams for your empty graduated cylinder. You want to fill it with 10 milliliters of corn syrup. And it is very thick. So you're going to have to pour slow. Perfect. And then once again, you'll need to find your final mass of it. And we can slide it back just a little bit.
and we can let it come to it as close as possible. So we'll call our final mass. It's probably going to be very close to 20 grams. Yep. So you'll call your final mass of this 20 grams, and you need to subtract it minus your empty graduated cylinder. And then you need to repeat it one more time for your water. And the water is only green because I dyed it. So you'll find your empty mass of your third graduated cylinder. And it should be approximately the same as the other one. Approximately 5.2 grams. You want to fill it with 10 milliliters of water. Now that you have the 10 milliliters of each solution, I want you to draw a picture on your paper of what you think the stacking column are, will look like when all the liquids are poured into the small beaker. Which one do you think will be at the bottom? Which one do you think will be in the middle? And which one do you think will be on top? Take a minute to find the density of each of the three liquids and then draw a picture as your hypothesis. Solve for the density for each liquid. You can use the mass you found for each liquid and the volume for each is 10 milliliters. Don't forget to use your units and record your answers on your paper. After you have the density for each liquid solved, you can then draw a picture of how you think the liquids will stack up in the beaker. Which one will be at the bottom? How do you know this? Which will be at the top? Why is that? Draw your picture, solve for your numbers, and see what happens. After you have drawn your picture, you can pour all three liquids into the beaker. It does not matter which order you pour them in. So the corn syrup is always difficult to pour in. It will take a minute because it is so thick. Okay, so there's all of your corn syrup. After all your corn syrup is into the beaker, you can pour in your oil. And then you can pour in the water, which was dyed green for this experiment. Now, if you look at the beaker, you can see all three liquids have stacked up. There's one on the bottom, one in the middle, and one at the top. You can see that your corn syrup's at the bottom, the colored water is in the middle, and your vegetable oil is on the top. Why do you think that is? Record this on your paper and explain how density helps you to figure out why these three liquids stacked up the way they are.